Hello and welcome to the introduction to Workshop 2. My name is Julia Slaughter. We will be discussing Workshop 2, which is titled Hydraulic Relationships Uncertainty Analysis. In this workshop, you will learn how to import HEC RAS exported water surface profiles. And from these water surface profiles, you will define and interpret the H and H functions generated from the imported water surface profiles. Specifically, we will be looking at the exceedance probability and stage discharge functions in HEC FDA. In HEC FDA, water surface profiles can be imported from files generated by HEC RAS, HEC2, and UNET. In today's workshop, we will be working with HEC RAS exported water surface profiles. These eight water surface profiles one for each exceedance probability, is for the Bear Grass Creek study. The eight profiles are used to compute the following big three relationships in HEC FDA. These big three relationships are exceedance probability, which is also known as the discharge probability and the frequency curve. Number two is the stage discharge function, also known as the rating curve, and the final big three relationship is the structure stage damage or economic curve. In our ATC FDA workshop, we will be importing water surface profiles. These water surface profiles were generated from an ATC RAS calibrated model. The results of the ATC RAS sensitivity analysis indicated that between the high and low limit profiles was approximately two feet for both reaches. Therefore, an estimate of a 95% chance that for a given discharge, the stage would fall between those high and low limits. Water surface profiles imported into HEC FDA are shown in a table. You can also view those profiles in a plot window. In our HEC FDA workshop two, we will be generating the exceedance probability functions from the imported water surface profiles. These functions are entered at the index location. As we stated before, the index location is determined based on its representation of the reach. And the uncertainty in these exceedance probability functions is based on length of record for the data available. We will be generating our exceedance probability functions using the graphical from water surface profile option. And once you have generated your exceedance probability function, make sure to view the report to look for any issues in the generated files. The ATC FDA stage discharge function, also known as the rating curve, again is also entered at the index location. As stated before, the index location is determined as the best representation for the reach. And as with the exceedance probability functions, we will be generating the stage discharge functions from the water surface profiles. The uncertainty in this function is based on hydraulic parameters, as in the Manning's end value and backwater effects. In ATC FDA, the stage discharge function is also entered using the command from the hydge eng menu. We will retrieve stage discharge functions with uncertainty from the water surface profiles. The error distribution type is determined by the H and H person. For example, in SF8, we're looking for the index location of SF8. And if you recall from the previous workshop, that is 9.253. So we go to the water surface profiles and find the correct reach index point. Again, that index point for SF8 is 9.253. We look for the 1% event and find the stage at that location. That stage is 474.53. You enter that where this error becomes constant. The standard deviation of error for the entered stage, again, is the 1% event or 0 0.5. Again, once you have generated your stage discharge functions, it's a good idea to view the plot of the generated functions to look for anything abnormal. Does anyone have any questions? If you do, please enter your questions in the Google Classroom chat box or ask your questions in a synchronous workshop or review session. We also have an FDA discourse category for entering questions. 
I hope everyone has fun completing this workshop.